So you might have just seen my video on how to zero a, a micrometer. And now I'm just going to show you how to measure with an old school micrometer like this. And I, I really love these old school style um, dial micrometers over the digital ones because if you're using it for home use, you're probably not using it all the time. And the digital ones, the batteries will die. And I just feel like every time I get a digital instrument out, I'm constantly putting batteries in it. So this little guy here, you can use it um, really anytime. If I don't use this, you know, all but once every five years, it doesn't really matter. So this one here is a little bit trickier than your standard uh, micrometer because it measures all the way out to um, four decimal places, but um, still really not too big a deal. Uh, so I'll just kind of do a couple little examples here. The name of the game is, you know, this little line right here, your center point line, and all these little increments is what you're going to be watching. So here I'll go ahead, take my little wrench here, just as a little example to measure. And um, I'm just going to lay it on the table to make it a little bit easier for myself with the video here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that in until it clicks. I'm going to lock my barrel. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, <clears throat> because my barrel's locked, I'm going to slide it out. But you don't really have to, but for the sake of the video, make it a little easier. And then when you're measuring this thing here, what you're looking at is you're counting the little um, notch or little marks here. So uh, in this particular micrometer and most standard micrometers, each little mark equals 25 thousandths of an inch and every 100 thousandths of an inch is marked with, in this case, a one, two, three, four, five. So looking at this right here, um, we see that we are past the first four marks. So just past the number one here, meaning that's 100 thousandths of an inch. So that's our baseline. That's how we get our first decimal place. And then we're looking at which line um, lines up with the center point here. And in this case, the number 20 on the barrel is what lines up. So now we're at 120 thousandths of an inch, um, which actually gives us our our second and third decimal place. If it was if it was at the 21, it would be 121 and so forth. And this one being a micrometer that can measure out to four decimal places, we have a vernier scale here. And the way you work a vernier scale is you're looking for which lines um, line up with each other out of these 10 lines here. So in this case, let's just kind of look around. It looks like our zero is going to be our best bet. No, actually it looks like our one. So here we have our one. So in this case, we have 120 and 10 and one ten thousandths of an inch. So to write that out, it would be 0 0.1201 um, for this little thickness of this thing. And of course that's way more precise than I really need to be. Um, but we'll just go ahead, we'll measure one more thing just to give another example. Just make, again, just make sure everything is really, really freely spinning on your micrometer. You, you really don't want um, any friction because you want your ratchet here to really click just right. And if you haven't watched it and your zero is not perfectly on, just check out my video on how to uh, zero the thing. So this is going to be a little bit bigger probably than an inch. So let's see what else I can find here to measure. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to measure this thickness of my wire cutters. And if your object is bigger than an inch, this is a zero to one inch micrometer. Well, then you just need the right set of micrometers. So you might need a two to three inch. Um, you might need a three to four inch and so forth. And they sell all those at your micrometer store which for most of us will probably be the internet unless you're a tool maker all right so here we go i'm just going to try to balance this here so that there's not a lot of any like side to side torque and then we'll go ahead and click our ratchet 
and then go ahead and lock your barrel. And then we'll just repeat exactly what we just did. Except for now we're at a much larger number. So looking at this, um, we are past the 300,000 mark. And then we are just past the third notch after that. So we're at um, 375 thousandths of an inch. And now we have to add whatever we see on our barrel here. So 3.375. And here we're at um, the 18 mark. So 0.375 um, plus point um, plus point one or zero one eight so there we're gonna be at um, point three nine three or three hundred and ninety three thousandths of an inch and this one we're basically spot on on the zero so we're point three nine three zero um, and again let's say we weren't let's say I you know, give it a little wiggle here. Um, now you would just add, um, let's say this is where we landed. You would find which line again on your vernier scale lines up and call that and then add that. So in this case, the three lines up with the 20. This number here is irrelevant in this case, but you're looking at this number. So in this case, you would be 0.39 three three and that's how you would measure it and that's how you use a vernier uh, or a traditional dial caliper and if it's a metric one the same exact principles apply it's just that it might actually just be a little bit of course easier because now you're dealing in um you know even you know point one point zero zero one graduations instead of these twenty five thousands graduations hopefully that'll help you out um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please, please, please click the little subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot and uh, just help keep videos like this on YouTube. And if you have any comments, please feel free to share them and I'll, I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks again for watching.